Hello and welcome to our Getting Started series. In this module, we're going to be covering users and teams. Now yours will probably say in progress. Uh, when you start a free trial, we do automatically load a couple technicians for you um, just to play with. So the, the system picks up on that and marks this as in progress. Uh, so if you go into the setting, you'll probably see our uh, users that we have put in here for you. You can uh, inactivate those so that they're not in your way. And we'll turn those off. And if you want to do add new, you'll get the pop-ups over here. So we will add in our uh, employer or employee real quick, whether it's a technician, a salesman, another admin person, uh, whoever that would be. Uh, and I'm just making up information, as you can tell. Now, this address, if you're going to make this a technician and he is going to work from his home or basically the office, we do have an optimization uh, premium feature that can plan his route for him. If you're going to use that feature or thinking about using that feature, this address would be where that optimization tool is going to start him from. So this could be your company address or it could be his home address. Just something to keep in mind when you're when you're filling things out. Uh, here's where you can set his role. Is he going to be an admin, a professional, or a salesperson? Now, these are what are created automatically in ServiceWorks. Uh, we will show you in another video how you can go in and create your own specialized roles. Um, but for now, just use one of these to get this person set up. I'm going to pick professional. As you notice, there's also a check mark. We have enabled... Uh, the system to enable one person to have multiple roles. The only thing that can't happen, you cannot have a professional with an admin role. You would not be able to select both of those. But I could give Sam Spade a sales role and a professional role. In this instance, I'm just going to leave him as a professional. Here's his start date. Um, here's the time where he basically starts his workday and his end time. Uh, the username, he will have access to the mobile app, um, so we're going to give him a username. Now, the usernames are ServiceWorks wide, so if you pick a username that has already been used, uh, just like other cloud-based applications, you may get a warning that that name is already in use. Uh, if it does, you know, you can put some numbers after the name or... Uh, maybe he has a nickname or something you could use. Uh, and then we'll put in a password. And we're going to pick his working days. And we're going to do save. All right. And there is our Sam Spade professional. Um, if I click the edit button, I can go in and I can change any of the information. Uh, we'll do cancel for now. Uh, in another video, I will show you how you can set up these different colors uh, so that he, they show up on your schedule, however you'd like to see them. Um, our packages also do include teams. Um, so let's say that you, for instance, run a house cleaning company. Um, you don't necessarily need 40 people to log into ServiceWorks. Um, so you could basically create Team A. We'll do that real quick. Team A. And we're going to give them a red color. And we're going to assign them to our companies. And this is where they start. Now, you can assign specific team members. I could assign Sam Spade. If I type, start typing that, he will pop up and I can assign him to the team and make them the supervisor. And I'll hit save. Now where this comes in handy is uh, the team can be scheduled on your schedule. 
Uh, and then you could print out the print tickets and basically say, you know, here you go, my team of seven people, here's your jobs for the day. That would keep your admin down to a minimum. Uh, the only drawback is you would not have each individual on Sam's team in ServiceWorks. So there's no timesheet tracking, nothing like that. Basically, Sam would have to inform you of hours worked, that type of thing. That's if you're just going to have a group of people that basically you trust to go out, do the work, and they can work from a piece of paper. Now, we also do have another option, um, and this will get that started. Uh, so let's just say that you, you subcontract work. You know, you have an industry that you work in that you're going to want to send a notification out to subcontractors where they can accept the job. So we will create that guy really quick. Uh, we're going to put in his phone number and we'll do his email address. Okay, now this one, you're going to give him a username because he will be able to log in through the mobile app only. So we will just call him sub1. Oh, guess I have to have a longer name. So we will make him a sub c1. And password... Help us, I guess it helps if they match. Okay, so apparently I've done something wrong somewhere. Okay, finally got him in there. Now, uh, on an upcoming video, um, I will show you in the job, at the bottom of that job, there is a broadcast link. When you select that link, and then I pick subcontractor, um, it's going to send him an email, and he's going to get a text message that says, hey, this person has a job available for me to grab. He would be able to log in, assign that job to himself, and if he is approved, he will get a letter that lets him know that he's been approved to work on that job. So that's going to cover your user setup, how to set up a team, and a contractor. Hope to see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.